This is a um, time lapse of a lot of footage I took uh, making the fuel side cages for my Cozymark Ford project. Um, I've sped this up ridiculously because um, it was actually quite a lot of footage, but I wanted to show the process in completeness. Um, I'm going to spoil it a little bit here at the start and say that it was pretty successful. And if you want to skip some of my ramblings, you can go straight to the end. Um, but uh, as I'm watching this with you, I uh, just wanted to go through some of the uh, some of the stuff that's been happening and uh, where I'm going with this. Um, so but the reason I'm doing this is because, um, well, first off, I'm building a Cozumark 4, which is a plants built uh, from scratch built airplane. Uh, there's no kit or anything involved. You get a set of plans and you build the airplane. Um, and uh, if you Google Cozy Mark IV, you'll see an example of it. It's a kind of a backwards airplane. The, the engine's in the back and uh, <laughs> the elevator's in the front. It's a very uh, efficient. It uh, carries four passengers, um, more like a Porsche type four passengers, so two by two. Um, if you really wanted four adults in it, you could probably do it, but it's not the ideal setup. But um, and uh, I want to. I've been wanting to build one of these for pretty much the last ten years, but uh, my shop has been uh, non-conducive. I've basically had to buy a new house and uh, start setting up shop in the new house to do this. Um, to about two months ago, I ordered uh, all my materials that I'm going to need for the project. Uh, a whole bunch of the stuff that I need right off of the start, which is uh, mostly P PVC based foam. Um, it's kind of like a styrofoam, but much harder and made of PVC, obviously. Um, getting the right densities and thicknesses and everything of that, I needed to have some of it imported. And I've been waiting almost three months for it. It should be arriving sometime mid January. But um, in the meantime, I've had to just uh, set up my shop, uh, work a bit on, uh, on uh, just random stuff. And uh, when I got to. Uh, looking at what I want to do for the side gauges, I've always wanted to do the Vance Atkinson side gauges. Uh, I got a price list from him, and um, it turns out to, to get the side gauges made, uh, you know, it wasn't that expensive, but getting it shipped to South Africa adds another $30. And at that point, I reckoned, well, I could probably do it cheaper myself, plus I have all the extra time to, uh, to spend just playing with this. And uh, it gave me something to do airplane-wise while... I'm still waiting for my materials. So uh, even before I had uh, any any part of the fuselage built, I thought I'd start working on on fuel side gauges. And uh, you'll get an idea of what they look like at the end of this. Uh, but what I'm basically doing here is I'm making a vacuum table. Uh, you see all those little holes at the top, and you'll see that um, I've uh, just cut out a big hole in the bottom of a uh, of this contraption and uh, what I'm doing right now is I'm sealing it up and uh, you can see the, the hole at the bottom there uh, just smoothing off the sides and uh, basically at the bottom hole goes a vacuum cleaner uh, then we've got a whole bunch of an, an array of small holes at the top and uh, what's going to happen is we're going to melt some plastic uh, seal it down on top of uh, the top surface with all the little holes and then apply a vacuum with just by a household vacuum cleaner from the bottom. And uh, the idea is that the hot plastic will f conform to a plug or, or let's call it a, a molded shape uh, that we're going to put on top of this little table, in quotes. Um, and we'll be able to, to form plastic this way into any shape we desire. In this case, what I'm trying to make is uh, fuel side gauges. And basically these are just two bubbles of plastic that get installed uh, on the inside of uh, the fuselage um, uh, with little holes going through to the fuel tanks so that uh, you can see the level of the fuel tanks from inside the fuselage. Uh, the the Cosimark 4 plans basically just has you make that out of fiberglass, which is uh, semi-transparent, but it, uh, you know, it doesn't look neat and it doesn't look pretty. So uh, what um, the Vance uh, Atkinson side cages do is uh, they make it out of plastic pretty much exactly the way I'm doing now. Uh, well, I suspect 
I don't know if his build process is the same, but um, definitely what the result he ends up with is pretty pretty darn close to what I'm doing here. Um, and I actually spent quite a bit of time on this, uh, making this. Um, this can be used for other parts uh, that I want to make plastic out of in the future. So it's not, uh, you know, a part I've made just to make two fuel side cages and then throw away. Definitely going to be keeping this. Um, what you see me working on there now is uh, working on the um, metal frame. Uh, that was many hours of cutting and drilling and so forth. But essentially, a piece of plastic gets uh, gets uh, pinched between this frame, and then, as you can see there, I'm demonstrating how it's going to go over the final table. Uh, and then, once I was done with that, it was time to make my actual plug, the shape that I want to uh, be, this, be, want the side gauges to be. And uh, this was fairly simple; just took some MDF and uh, sawed it and uh, then spent a lot of time just sanding you can see me there going at it with the sanding block and there was all kinds of rounding and sanding and rounding and sanding and just getting a nice pleasing shape that i could use um, so yeah so uh, i can't wait for mid jan for uh, my materials to arrive <laughs> I'm kind of uh, chomping at the bit to start getting going on the fuselage, uh, but not. But as I'm getting to the fuselage side, which is basically the second uh, chapter or second step of this airplane build, uh, at that point already, um, what exactly you're going to do with the, f the side gauges becomes important. So uh, I wanted to do this. I, I, I suspect these are only going to be installed much much later when uh, the strikes are. Uh, and the, the fuel tanks are pretty much built, but um, you know, there it is. At least I didn't waste this time doing nothing. Uh, total time I spent on this, I think was about a week, uh, just in the evenings and uh, you know, an odd hour here, an odd hour there. I didn't really work on it too intensively because you know, as you know, I've got all the time in the world. So yeah, they can see me just finishing our uh, our mold shape or uh, plug as it's called usually uh i've heard another word for it recently oh, doesn't matter so you can see me there um starting to shape this and uh starting to see how it how it's going to fit on my vacuum table uh, at this point i came in with that uh, weather stripping at the side there and uh, just uh, sealed this off this is so that we can create an airtight seal with the plastic uh, once it lands on top of our plug there and so that we can get very good uh, very good vacuum going underneath the plastic so um since we're going fast forwarding through this i'll talk a little bit ahead um we did do two uh, tries with um three millimeter thick acrylic uh, you can see that i've put it there in uh, in the frame and uh, I had a go with it here and it didn't work out too well. Um, it did conform and as you can see uh, we did kind of get the shape we were going for. Uh, this is with the plastic coming out of the oven and being shaped on top of this uh, vacuum table but there was too much of a radius still uh, where where my shape meets the table. Um, the, the acrylic at a three millimeter was simply too thick. And at this point, I reckoned what I would try is um, upping the temperature, seeing if I can get it a little bit hotter and uh, see what the result would be. So we'll see that in a moment. So there we go. And uh, what's happened here, uh, you can kind of see it at the bottom of the screen there is that we've got bubbles in our plastic and that's from the plastic getting too hot and uh, still even at this temperature the the radius we were getting was not satisfactory and we were getting all these flaws and bubbles and things in the plastic so um, after this I went to my plastic supplier and just bought some offcuts of one millimeter thick acrylic and uh, we'll see that in a moment and that went very much better so we're just going to wait for that to come around okay there we can see the all the bubbling and, and so in the plastic nicely and the shape wasn't right so here i tried with one millimeter thick and we can 
actually already see right here in the video that it's conforming much much nicer i'm putting my hands in there trying to force it down as much as i can uh, the vacuum is doing 90 percent of the work there but i am trying to push it down with my hands i'm not sure if that made much of a difference but there we can see the finished product looks much better i made two of those one had one or two bubbles but not in our gauge part and uh, as that's got to get covered up when i install them i just left it as is um, overall i think this came out pretty well uh, the parts are not 100 percent perfect but um, i think for something i just whipped together with a couple of nights in the garage it came out came out pretty well and yeah that was it um hope you enjoyed the video uh i'm gonna cut it off here and uh Hopefully pretty soon we'll have more proper uh, plane building videos.